Hi everybody and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be unboxing a bunch of manga that I recently got in from Right Stuff Anime. Right Stuff Anime is definitely my favorite place to shop for manga. It does, I feel like, take a bit more time to come to your door as opposed to some of the other sites like Amazon or Barnes & Noble. They're usually a lot quicker to ship, but I find Right Stuff has some of the best prices of manga that is currently available online. So I know the big Right Stuff birthday sale is currently happening right now, so I wanted to show you how Right Stuff packages their manga and like whether they're shipped in great condition. I also want to say a huge, huge thank you for today's video sponsor, Boxy. If you haven't heard of Boxu, I will be doing an unboxing of their product as well. Let's get into the unboxing. Alright, so let's kick things off with box number one. Now, I love how Right Stuff packages their manga. It's always very neat, tidy. I love looking at it. Here's a volume of Danganronpa. I have a case study of Vanitas manga. Always love the art in these. Hanako-kun. Another case study of Vanitas. Kaguya-sama, Love is War, one of my favorites. Some more Kaguya-sama. Toilet Bound Hanako-kun, Volume 4. Ari Fureta, I don't know how to pronounce that one actually. <laughs> and The Way of the House Husband. Next up, we have box number two. Now, this box only has three volumes, and each volume of manga was packaged separately in a large helping of paper, <laughs> but got my fruits baskets, collector's editions, box number three. We're zipping through these, and once we get to everything unboxed, then I, I'll go over each volume a little bit in more detail. So the top portion is separately wrapped in paper, all very secure. We have some slime manga, more fruits basket. And I would like to say that Right Stuff is really good about shipping in-stock manga pretty quickly. I think my in-stock manga was usually shipped out within a week, but anything that is pre-ordered or not in stock currently i think takes a bit longer so a lot of my fruit basket manga were completely out of stock when i bought it but there was a sale going on and it was too good to pass so it took i think about a month for everything to get to my house getting to the bottom of this box and we're ending up with we never learn again super well packaged box number four now this is my first ginormous box i have not had a box this big so i'm kind of excited to open it wow oh it looks so neat i love it and yeah i think once everything is packaged and shipped it takes roughly uh, i live in California on the west coast and it takes roughly I would say like a week to a week and a half for it to move through the USPS system and then get to my house so I'd say if you're ordering in stock items you can probably get your manga within two three weeks if you're buying stuff that's out of stock it can take anywhere from three weeks to I've heard of some people waiting up to six months, which is pretty insane, but the prices are hard to beat, like I mentioned. And as you can see from me pulling out these volumes one by one, they're in perfect condition. Not one volume in this giant box has come damaged or with any sort of cosmetic damage that I can see. That's really incredible. Considering after you spend $75 on Right Stuff Anime, they give you free US shipping, that is something that is hard to beat, I'd say. Here's everything that was in that box. Wow. And here is the last of my manga haul today, box number five. Now, this has two volumes, and I waited probably two months to get these because they just did not come in stock. <laughs> Overall, my experience so far has been amazing with Right Stuff shipping. And today's special box, box number six from Boksu, premium Japanese snacks delivered right to your door. Here is a nice thank you card and a giant guide. 
and a look at all of the snacks included. I was so amazed at how much could fit in this relatively small box. The snacks just keep coming and coming. <laughs> And as a huge lover of Japanese snacks, I was so excited to get this box and I am equally just as excited to try every single item, especially these cute mochis. Oh, so amazing. Overall, there was about 22 items in this box. And since everything is pretty much in Japanese, this guidebook has been amazing for me. As you can see here, you can see a description of every item in the box as well as kind of like what it could taste like, any allergen information. This is a freeze-dried strawberry infused with white chocolate. It tasted amazing. Here we have some handmade yuzu sake candy. It was very fresh, highly recommend. The Hokkaido red bean donuts were not too sweet and very, very soft. I was blown away by this texture. I haven't tried the caramel apple cookie yet, but it sounds delicious. <laughs> and my favorite snack so far has been this Taiyaki Airy Wafer Mochi with chocolate inside. It was so good. Thank you so much, Boksu, for sending me my first taste of these beautiful snacks. Use my code JOANNE20 to get 20% off your first authentic Japanese snack box from Boksu. It is a limited time offer. All right, let's get back to this ginormous manga haul of 40 plus volumes. Let's start with Fruits Basket. I have volumes 1 through 12. Six got lost somewhere in another box, I guess, or it's still in transit, but I have almost the entire collection. Now taking a look at this first volume. These are very hefty volumes and the art is really nice. It's very different from the anime, but really nice. Here's volume 2. The paper quality is also very thick. So I really appreciate that. Oh, I love these colored pages. I always love seeing colored pages in manga. I don't know what it is, but love it. <laughs> Here's a look at volume three. Oh, Kakura is so cute on the back. And here we have volume four with Momiji on the front and Hattori on the back. I love that these volumes feature the characters from the show. Here is one of my favorite characters, Hatsuharu, and the fabulous Ayame on the back. Next we have volume 7. I always forget the name of this character. <laughs> and we have Isuzu on the back. Next up, we have Kureno, what an interesting character, <laughs> as well as Akito on the back, another interesting character. <laughs> Volume 9, oh, I love Toru's friends, they're so precious and it is great that they get their own separate volume. Next up, we have some of the student council members, Manabe, as well as Machi on the back. Oh, I love Machi. We have volume 11 with Ren Soma on the front. She looks awesome. <laughs> as well as Kyo Sensei on the back. And volume 12, the final volume. I don't know who this is, and I also don't know who that is. Excited to find out though. And these volumes are extremely thick, as you can see here. Next up, we have Solo Leveling Volume 1 of the novel. So I read the manga version and I read the entire thing in one sitting because it was so captivating. <laughs> and then when I finished it, I was like, okay, I need to know more because the manga version is very quick, not a lot of information. So I picked up the novel to see if I can get more insight into this wonderful world. I have The Way of the House Husband, Volumes 1 and 3. I finished watching the Netflix adaptation. It was really funny. So I'm excited to get into the manga because the art looks amazing. And I'm curious to see how they do the humor in manga form. <laughs> but yeah, I love the main character. 
It looks like on volume three, he's putting away clothes with kind of a menacing look on his face as well as delivering a parfait. <laughs> Next, we have Ari Furetta, I don't know if I'm saying that right, volume one of this light novel series. Honestly, I don't know much about this series at all. I just thought the main character looked really cute. And that was the basis for my decision to pick up this novel. <laughs> and it's quite a hefty novel, so I guess I'll hopefully find out more. And next, we have the continuation of the Hell's Paradise series. I picked up volume 6 and 7. I'm really curious to see where the story is gonna go. The mystery, the action, the art, it is all amazing. Here's volume 7. Ooh, I love this character on the front. Who is this? I don't know, but he looks cool. <laughs> and the back looks cute. Next up, we have That Time I Got Reincarnated as a Slime, What a Mouthful, picked up volumes 1 through 4 of the manga series. I watched all of season 1, I started season 2 of the anime, and I just really want to see the manga version of it because I think the manga came after the anime, if I'm not wrong. I think I read that online somewhere, but I'm curious. And the art in this looks amazing so far. Here we have some of my favorite characters so far. Shuna, Benimaru, as well as Soe, Shion, and Ranga. And the last volume, I have volume 4. I think this is the lady from the forest. She looks really pretty. <laughs> Excited to start reading these. And I also picked up So I'm a Spider, So What? Volumes 1 through 4 of the light novel series. So I have a huge fear of spiders, and so I didn't actually watch the anime, but I read that the story was pretty fun. And I don't want to read the manga because I don't want to see a bunch of spider drawings, so I instead picked up the light novel. And I will let you know how that goes for me. So far, I'm really liking the art on these covers. Here's volume 2. Wow, there are so many colors. The insides have these cool inserts that pop out, which is a nice touch. Volume 3. Wow, what a colorful dragon I think that is. Looks really cool. Excited to read more about this adventure. And we have volume four. Who is that girl? She is really cute. <laughs> Next up, we have Dongarampa Ultra Despair Girls volume three. So I haven't played this game for this story yet. So I just wanted to pick up the manga to get more information. I'm not sure if I'm gonna play it, but this story has been very interesting so far. And we have Hunter Hunter Volume 17, the lone volume that I picked up for this haul. I think it was the only one in stock when I when I bought it. Following that, we have Sleepy Princess in the Demon Castle. Now, to be honest, I don't really know much about this, but I love sleeping, and I love kind of fairy tale princess vibes. So. <laughs> I was really curious about this manga and so far the art in this looks really nice and yeah, I'll, I'll see if I like it. We have volume 2 as well. The main character just looks so cute. I love the design with all the teddy bears as well and the demon castle portion. Curious about what goes on there too. Next up, we have Kaguya-sama Love is War, volumes 15 to 18. Now, Kaguya-sama is one of my current favorite series. The humor is done so well. I love the romance between the two main characters. And I also really love all the side characters, Chika, Ishigami, even Miko now. I love them all. I love how they show little snippets on the back of each volume. We have volume 16 with Miko and Ishigami looking really cute on the cover. 
<laughs> the third eye on that picture looks so funny. And we have... I'm not sure who these girls are. But they're cute. <laughs> and volume 18 with Kaguya-sama looking like she's poking fun at Ishigami, I guess. Ooh, and what is that? Did she give him a kiss? Okay, curious. Next up, we have the case study of Vanitas. We have volumes 2 and 3. I love the art and the colors. It looks so nice. I have volume 1 previously. I haven't read it yet, but I thought I would be interested in the story, so I just picked up 2 and 3 just in case. <laughs> I'll definitely read them. But it's about vampires, steampunk. I love the vibe so far. Vampires are kind of my thing. I guess it was my thing when I was a teenager, but maybe not so much anymore. We'll see. <laughs> Next up, we have volumes 4 and 5 of Toilet Bound Hanako-kun. Now, I love the combination of beautiful art, supernatural, romance, school life, and a healthy dose of action. It's got it all, really. If you haven't picked it up, I would highly recommend it. It is such... A fun ride <laughs> I guess yeah I'm gonna just say that but yeah look at this art it's so beautiful I love it and following that we have volume 7 through 9 of we never learn also one of my current favorite series I have not watched the anime and I don't really think I'm going to because the manga is just making this story come alive so well for me Love the art, love the characters, love the kind of innocent harem romance that is coming alive through these pages. <laughs> we have volume 8, looking like a cute school festival or something. And we have volume 9. Adorable. The hamster is giving me Yona vibes. And the final two series for today we have full metal alchemist volume 2 i love this greenish teal foil color with alphonse on the cover such a high quality volume and i just finished reading volume 1 so this came perfect time for me the pages are beautiful thick glossy Feels really nice in the hand. Feels like really high quality. And finally, we have JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 1, Volume 1. Jonathan Joestar on the cover. I did not watch too much of the anime, and I don't know too much of the story. I know there's a lot of really interesting looking characters, so I picked up the manga to learn more. Wow, this looks striking. And the pages also feel really nice, not glossy, but there's a lot of color pages in there, which I was surprised about. This dog is really cute. These volumes I feel like would look so nice on a shelf. And I love all the shiny, glossy parts on the front. Wow, 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 42 volumes, let's go. Oh my gosh, I have so much to read and catch up on. So I'm currently running out of space to store all of my manga. So I'm going to be looking at buying some bookshelves and replacing this TV stand here. Once I do that, I'll probably do some kind of a figure slash manga slash room tour at some point. It's coming. Thank you so much again, Boxu, for sponsoring this video. Please check out my links below to get a taste of Japan for yourself highly recommend and thank you so much for watching i will catch you next time bye bye